Good morning. Uh, today I have the day off. It's Friday, so I'm going to try to go to an estate sale. It is the first time I've gone like on a Friday, which sometimes that's the first day that they have it. So I'm really interested to see what I can find. However, I will say that estate sales, maybe it's just in San Diego, the prices are pretty high, especially on the first day. So there's a couple items I do want to look at and I'm try, going to try to get to really fast, but I don't know what really to expect for the prices. Um, I've never went to an estate sale with the, this company that's running it. So we shall see. Uh, it looks like there's a couple people already up there, so I'm going to get going. Russell. Okay, I think I was number 12 on the list, so not too far down. And of course, the first place I'm heading is to where the dolls are because I want to look at those Bob Mackie dolls. Unfortunately, I'm noticing the prices on all of these. And like you can see, this one is $75. It's around the price I would be able to get for it on eBay. The same with this one, $100. They just obviously did their homework and there was just no way I was going to be able to pick up any of these and actually make money off of them. It just kind of wasn't worth my time, unfortunately. The same with these Wizard of Oz dolls. I think they're the Franklin Mint ones. Um, $200 is like the max I would probably be able to get selling them on eBay. So one of the items that I saw when I was looking at the listing pictures for this estate sale was this figurine I'm about to pick up. It looked like a Yadro figurine, but I couldn't tell from the pictures. After examining, examining it close up, I still couldn't verify that it was. I know some of the pieces are very hard to tell. Like on the bottom, they have very light numbers. But in a couple minutes, you'll see me do a Google lens search, and I still could not find this this figurine. There was some that was very similar that went for a lot, a lot of money, but I could not find this one. So you guys let me know. What do you think? Do you think this is a, a Yadro or something else special? They had it for $40, and I highly, highly considered it, but I just could not verify what brand or making this figurine was. I do like to pick up beaded purses. They can do pretty well, just depending on the brand and the design. Um, these, I do not see any brands. They were marked at $10 and had a little bit of damage. Both of them did, uh, I think the second one more so than this one. And so I was just hesitant to pay $10 for them. I still do a quick look up on these, but end up passing on both. Another item that I saw in the listing for the estate sale was this Groot planter. It wasn't a big deal, so it wasn't the first thing I went after, but I was really hoping it was still available. And I'm literally looking all over the yard for it, assuming it's going to be somewhere around where all these plants are. And of course, I look over and see that the lady sitting at the table has it next to her and listen to what she says. And this are the two we're taking, but the rest of them we are. So, well, so there. <laughs> so there. So there. Oh, the Groot is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I head to the kitchen, and really at this moment, I am just kind of realizing that I probably won't be getting anything here. I'm still scavenging through things, hoping that I will come across something. Right now, I'm looking at those copper tins, um, kind of just feeling defeated at this moment and not really wanting to look up much else.
I do notice a couple Starbucks mugs up in the cabinets. Some Starbucks mugs can do pretty well and go for good money, but after looking these two up, they didn't really look worth it. Next, I see these Corning Wear, what looks like mugs. Um, I am looking them over for a while to try to figure out what they are. Uh, Corning Wear, I'm used to, you know, casserole dishes and things like that. I don't think I've seen a cup. And so I'm trying to look at it and figure out what it is. It did look like a soup cup to me or something you would like put a soup in, which I believe that is what it turned out to be. I do end up doing a Google Lens search and try to get the name of what they are. After that, I looked up comps on eBay and the comps just weren't worth it. I think they were asking for $4 at this yard sale and they were only selling for a couple bucks more than that on eBay. So I noticed these little spoons, which are not something that I generally pay attention to because they're not really worth money, but they looked a little unique with the crystal coming out of the handle. So I decided to hold on to them to ask them how much they wanted for them because there wasn't a price. There was just a price on the, the container holding them, which I believe was $5, four or $5. And the guy just ended up giving them to me for an extra dollar. So I ended up getting the cup with the spoons inside of it. The cup actually ended up being a stainless steel DeLonghi frothing pitcher. So I ended up listing that one for 15. Unfortunately, I didn't look close enough at those spoons and they were modern and were not really worth very much. I think I ended up listing them for like $25. Then I saw this really pretty wooden board that had this detailed gold tile in it. I had no idea what this item was and didn't even look up comps at the time. It was only marked at $4, so I figured I'd take a risk on it. It turned out to be a George Briard, I think is how you say his name, cheese board, and comps looked to be around $30-$35. The last stop before I check out is in the garage. I did see a ton of Christmas stuff, which could be great. Um, so I'm kind of just like looking under everything to see if there is any brands that I recognize. There was also, I think, a Yoda inflatable at the top, but you can't see it, of course. And I was just checking the price on that, but it ended up being too much. I just wanted that for myself but apparently it was at a price that even I didn't want to pay for myself. I do end up picking up this little bag of candies. There is one broken in there, but they were only asking $2 for them. So I just figured it was an easy pickup, easy list. I end up looking through all this Christmas stuff for a little bit longer. However, my camera is about to die in a couple of seconds. So I am gonna go ahead and leave you all here. Okay, so it did happen to be unfortunately like I thought I was gonna be. The prices were really high. Um, I really wanted to look at those Bob Mackie dolls. There was a couple that I was really excited um, to, to look at because I have you know come across them online for auctions and things like that and they usually go for pretty high, but they had them listed at this estate sale for the same price that I would probably be able to sell them for on eBay, so it wasn't worth it, and it really wasn't worth it for basically everything in there. Um, I only got those three items, I guess technically four, um, 
also not the best time or best day at this estate sale. I may try to come back on Sunday when they have 50% off, but we'll see because the likelihood, I guess, of those dolls being here is kind of unlikely. But if I'm in the neighborhood or have time on that day, I'll take a look. So while it wasn't the greatest day as far as picking up items, I did get a couple items and I think I'm going to try to keep track of which companies run which which estate sales because they'll tend to price them kind of the same at the other ones that they run and that's kind of i guess a little bit of a tip is estate sales that are run in your area pay attention to which companies are running them because some will tend to mark things up some will have them like lower or they have different kind of sales tactics and things like that so try to pay attention to the actual company that's running them and then once you find the company that you like how they run their estate sale you can kind of look for the ones that they have coming up and weed out the ones that you don't really like how they run them or they tend to run have their prices up really high as always thank you guys so much for watching i still really enjoyed looking for some treasures today and i hope you did too and i will see you next time